Yes. Uh, I believe they're going to push force you through a brief tutorial, so... Oh, uh, you can just press escape and then just live it up. Oh, okay. Forget about the tutorial! <laughs> uh, I'm going to copy that. I'll be right back. All right. My game's all set up and done. Multiplayer. No, I don't want to try challenges first. We're just going to create friends only lobby. So, hey everybody, while he's away, let's just introduce the game. We'll be playing Spin Tires Mud Runner, which is the the sequel to the original Spin Tires, which is best described as take these giant Russian trucks through muddy wilderness and uh, perform tasks with mud physics. So, if that sounds at all interesting to you, then uh, you might be in the right place. And this is our first time doing... Oh, Island's back. Nice. Our first time doing this version of the game. We, we've played the original uh, game balance. Oh, so if I select like that and that, then... The game's easier, harder. I don't understand. Why not try the challenges first. No. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. What is the difference between? Yeah, I'll just take this one. Why not? What am I doing? You can, you can make the lobby. I already did, and I've invited you. Perfect. Here I am. The bog. Okay. I, I think we're. Is this for widescreen or something? Is this many like crazy tilted in oh, for you? Oh, yeah, no, it really is like super. What is that concave on the edges? Yeah, so it's like it's concave and it's like yeah, it's it's lens like. It's just literally warping to the center of the screen. It's not even widescreen. It's just far screen, deep <laughs> screen. It's it's very wide FOV for no reason. But it's like it's also top bottom stretched. Like okay. Uh, which, oh, I'm already in this truck. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, here we go. So let's get a spare wheel and a fireproof exhaust. Is there, like, a cost to installing these things? I've never understood. No, there's, like, so there's, like, a points. Your truck has, like, so many points of modifications it can do. Oh, okay. So, like, it's just, yeah. Oh, so if I got rid of my spare wheel, I could actually carry garage parts around. Oh, and we have to carry the whole trailer to be... Oh, boy, no, that's that seems like a bit much. Right, I think this is uh, what we're going to have to begin with. Alright. So, Defoc is Q. No, just... Turn off the parking brake. Off to a good start. <laughs> this game is pretty oh already. <laughs> I just this get trailer. an achievement for starting my engine. Okay. Uh, um, I don't remember what where's, all where's the map? drive is. <laughs> what is this game? How do I play this? <laughs> Who are you people? Uh, that's where is the map? I'm sitting here, I'm pushing buttons, ain't nothing happening here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, change resolution. What, what is my resolution at? Okay. Name of music, controller vibration, no. Oh, I see. Not feeling like the carriage, eh? No, no, not yet. Okay, here we go. Uh, navigation map. Oh, F1, of course. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> because it's not obvious. Just kidding, I changed it to M. Alright. We got a lumber mill over there. Alright, I'm just gonna... No, that's, that's fine. I'm gonna go along this road and get to this watch point. I actually don't see any other garages at the moment. There's yeah, only I... one... Oh, there is a garage way up there at that watch point. It's really hard. Is there like a way to change the camera angle in this map? 
Because it's really hard to see. Or can I pan it? Oh, you can pan. Okay, with, with holding right click. I gotcha. Yeah, I'm just gonna go unlock that watch point, and then probably unlock the other watch point. There's just... on. There's a puddle so large, it's on my map. Yes. That's yeah, it's pretty big. I just imagine that being like Google Street View, there's just like a puddle there. Uh, and okay, did, okay. Controls. Did you figure some way to unlock that uh, camera, or... Actually, this isn't so bad. Alright, uh, don't mind me, just, just passing through. Front Where's rear my... camera 1 or 2, like number buttons. All-wheel okay. drive is E. Yeah, E as in all-wheel. <laughs> as in... wheel. Alright, off to a good start, stuck already. Also, there is a way to do cockpit cam. There we go, let's do this. I think you might actually have too many garage points. Because we only no, have I've one. Only got four. Yeah, and, and I've got two. I think we only need four to unlock that garage. Oh, okay. I so didn't it that trailer might be superfluous and just okay. an extra hassle. Well, yeah. So here's what I'd do then: is I'd just go back and take a different truck then. Yeah. Because yeah, I could just take garage parts and then grab some repair stuff and do that. Oh yeah, repair parts. That's that's something we're gonna need at some point. I assume we're gonna be imperfect. God, a utility trailer. Okay, well this seems like a mistake already, but here we go. <laughs> we don't need diff lock, it'll be fine. Totally, totally. It's my other truck just here. I think all the unlockable trucks are over in the bottom left, or whatever direction the map is facing. They're all in one place. They need to be repaired. Oh. Okay, diff lock definitely feels more useful than the other. Wow, I just left this thing just parked right here. <laughs> Okay, here we this go. Is, this is quite the hill. Do I need diff lock more or all wheel more? Oh god. My cats charged each other. I looked away and I'm just steering directly off into a tree. <laughs> As you do. Oh, who littered the ground with trees here? Okay, just cruising along. Alright, I'm gonna reassign my map button. Alright, I'm officially in unexplored territory. Okay, I am now out of the spawn. <laughs> Perfect. I think diff lock is honestly more important than all wheel drive. It is. It's so much more important. Does it even? It doesn't even seem like it increases uh, fuel usage by that much. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? Because I just like drove right into a river. Perfect. Maybe I was supposed to go over that way. But you Is know what? Is it possible if uh, if there's like predators, can I jettison my uh, trailer so that they go for the trailer and <laughs> Um, I'm curious to know what predators, like, bears? They're like, you know, Soviet predators. Oh, predator you know, tanks? The Soviet era <laughs> logging vehicles. <laughs> they built them rugged for a reason. <laughs> to, to ward off predators, yes. They were very serious about their, uh, about their vehicles. Wow, I didn't take any damage from just driving through a forest. Well, alright then. 
Oh, the watch points are actually like little lookout towers now. They're not very big, so I don't I don't think they'd actually work, but hey, there they are. Yeah, so I just get to drive along this road and then eventually I'll make it to the other watch point. Oh yeah, that was the whole thing about not using diff block, is it uses more fuel? I'm not really seeing that. I don't... well, okay, so I think diff block really screws with you if you're actually on level terrain. Like, if you're actually uh, driving on a road, I think diff lock just totally messes with the driving pattern then. Oh yeah, and that's that's why we always turned it off when we hit pavement. Yeah, if you hit pavement and you've got diff lock going, then it gets real weird. But like, in this mud, yeah, it's totally, you want all of them spinning at the same rate. Yeah. So otherwise, you spin out. Dig in. It's like, I have, like, what class of vehicle actually has diff lock on it? Is it like <laughs> only these trucks? I've never seen a commercial vehicle that has diff lock. I don't know, like, if I dug around in my manual, I'd find it or what, but... <laughs> Oh, you know, Priuses, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Honda Civic. It's pretty necessary when you're driving through mud in your Prius to have diff lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna get an Elantra, but no diff lock. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the new Teslas all have diff lock. <laughs> 30... Got 120 meter range directly through the deepest of forests. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Oh jeez, there's a bridge? I do not trust myself to cross a bridge. That was when I went to uh went on work I went to oh. California and visited some of the locations out there. It was crazy. I walked out through the company parking lot, it was all Teslas. There's like an entire row of them. It's just like my god, there's a million dollars in cars within twenty <laughs> square feet right here. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, where am I? Um, Lumber Mill's there. Wow, you really booked it over there. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, I'm coming. I'm starting to think the supply trailer I bought was completely unnecessary. Overcooked? I think so, yeah. I haven't taken damage yet. Oh! How do I gear up? I forgot about that. Uh, I was driving it first. Mine's on automatic, so I, I could not tell you. Mm. Move gear stick. R. I think I've almost made it to the garage. Yep, there it is. Alright, boys. I have no idea if mine's on automatic or if I've just literally driven entirely through first because this is an entirely first kind of place. <laughs> It very well it could, could be. be. Yeah. I mean, just look at it, right? <laughs> okay, and what's the cost for fueling? Truck automatically refueled. Maybe there isn't a cost. I'm gonna go for the last couple watch points. This water is real pretty, actually. It is. Like, this is a good looking game. It is actually a really good looking game. I remember thinking that in the last one. There was the volcano map we were driving through, and there was like all these fireflies oh, and yeah. junk. That was a good that one. That was real pretty. Oh god, don't flip. Don't. I swear god. Don't you do it. Okay, we made it. Oh, I just remembered about winching. Oh, oh yeah. god. It's gonna be good. We're gonna have some winching adventures, it's guaranteed. Ooh, this is actually not bad terrain. 
Oh, it could be because I'm driving on this damn trailer, too, that everything's so terrible. I think it did slow you down a lot. Like, now that I've unloaded my garage points, I'm actually quite a bit faster. Just zippy. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go... I'm sure one of those ones in the bottom left is a larger one. Because I'd love to just move. Yeah. I think those are the big okay. ones. Let's see, so I could just cut straight through the forest here. Or I could try taking the road because I have a trailer. <laughs> I'm honestly thinking about just ditching this trailer somewhere. I don't think I need it. I don't think it does anything for me. Can I just lighten the load? Share the load. Okay, where am I actually going? Oh, I need to like take a left here. Hmm, advanced mode, V. Yeah, what options do you have in there? Okay. I have very little. Change truck is one of them. Oh, wheel is actually a, uh... An advanced, uh, if you have the spare? There you go, detached trailer. Alright, it's good. Yeah, it was under advanced options. That makes sense. Wow, look at this look at this beautiful open field. Oh you're right, I am shifting automatically. I just was literally always in first because of that trailer. <laughs> Turns out fields don't have a lot of uh, hard packed earth. Hmm. Yeah, that checks out. Also, driving like a three ton vehicle. <laughs> yes. Through terrain that is perpetually moist. Yes. Through terrain that has never seen anything except other three ton vehicles. <laughs> Alright, how do I get. Let's just uh, continue around this giant field, and uh, I'm sure it'll work itself out. We got one more watch point to unlock. That's good. And then I think I'm just gonna go unlock those vehicles if I can. Ooh, I wonder if it'll still play us a little riff. Oh, it it does. I got an achievement. There's an awesome riff when you do it. Ooh, good. This, uh, thing just lists so alarmingly. Yes. <laughs> so that you are certain it will tip over at some point. Oh my god, this bridge here. Oh yeah, no, the bridge is frightening. It's like barely wide enough for your truck. I'm sure it's huge, but it's it looks like it's barely wide enough for your truck. Both of the real wheel, both rear wheels spin even without all wheel. All wheels just adding the two front wheels. Oh. Because I, I don't know if you drive the same truck as me, but I got two re two real wheel sets and then one one set of front. I think we're in the same or a very similar truck. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I have the same two wheels in the back, one in the or two axles in the back, one in the front. Yeah, exactly. Alright, I am just about there. And then we get a garage! Oh, you might just drive fast without diff lock if you can get away with it. Boom. Oh yeah! There it is. Oh, uh, diff lock just locks the back wheels too. It locks the wheels that are currently spinning. Oh. Ooh, let's wait for this uh, garage unlock to happen. Do I need to do anything? You have to stand still and then a dialogue will come up. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Change to B131. Where's the B131? Oh, back at the 
the original core. No. I think I'm the B131. Huh. Weird. Alright, I'm gonna go unlock one. some vehicles. Utility trailers just hanging out over there. <laughs> oh, I'm already in the B one thirty one. Why is it asking me to unlock it? Oh, you know, it'd be a lot faster to get there if I just changed to a different truck. Like this one. Yes. Let's do this. Ooh, this thing's kind of zippy. It also takes damage a lot more readily. Oh, the C-255? No, the A-something-something. Something. Okay. It's just the tiny little jeep. Okay, so we got a lumber mill over there. Oh my god, the log station is so far north. Yeah. Okay. Can I just drive through this forest directly to the north? You can certainly try. If you got a big enough truck, then yes. Oh boy. I got caught on a oh, log. I flipped. Uh oh. Flip. Can I winch? Oh yeah, I you totally, <laughs> totally flipped. Uh, I think you can winch even if your engine's dead. I don't think I can. No, I don't think you can. Uh oh. Uh, all right. Well, let's. That's fine. I didn't want this anyway. <laughs> let's just go over to the B one thirty. It's already right here. Oh, All but right, I was gonna. For a sec, I was gonna flip you. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Let's do that real quick. Then. Uh, where does this truck not have a winch? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, what is winch button? I think you have to be in that truck. Oh. Okay. I'm in it. Uh, how, what is the real in button for the winch? Don't winch pull it. F. Uh, uh, oh, I don't. You put your parking brake on. Yeah. Also, I wasn't attached to you. I was attached to the ground. Yes. My parking okay. brake was on. <laughs> so. Huh? And boom. Easy. Alright. Cool. Okay, so about this one that I... Kinda, oh, wait a minute. I remember. I have a technique for this. Okay, so I've unlocked a truck for you. 
Interesting. Did I also unlock a truck here? mud here. I mean, if nothing else, I think you can reset the trailer, and that that would. Uh... Can I just reset it? It can't be driven. I don't remember how to reset vehicles, but I'm pretty sure you can do it to trailers. Or you could just abandon it and go get a new one. I don't know if there's a penalty. I don't think so. Other than just littering trash all over. Yep. Yep. Unlocked C-235, C-255 for me. Nice, nice. Okay, Here, I'll be... have another one. Oh, I know that was for me. Alright, so let's go boom, boom. Boom. Okay, so here's the scary part. We've got to cross this river. We are absolutely going to be underwater for a bit. Hopefully uh, not too far underwater. And hopefully we're heavy enough that we don't get pushed downstream. Which has happened before. Oh my gosh. This is not good terrain for this vehicle. That was the game warning me, you shouldn't do this. Come on, just gotta get to the other shore. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. We did it. I, did I not? I guess I moved the camera instead of cutting my winch. Whoops. Alright, I'm gonna go a little bit further and then cut around to the left if I can get through this mud.
Woot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is what we've been needing. I mean, did you see how it was actually overwhelming the parking brake? Boom. Let's just make sure we're not in the way of anybody trying to leave. Good enough. <laughs> to flock always. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to make it back to the garage. So that we can get logs. Realistically, we want to be in that garage, and we just go to that log station, and then come back somehow. Eh, let's just drive it. It's fine. Oh my gosh, this thing is a beast. Wait, can this even be used to pull logs? We'll find out. used to ford rivers. We know that. You can go the bottom road. Alright, I am back. I, uh, I unlocked a truck that you might be interested in. Ooh, what is it? Uh, it's the see one... It. Whatever, the K700. I still see it as locked over there. Oh. That's interesting, because... Oh, maybe you have to unlock it yourself? I'm driving one right now, so... I know mine's unlocked. Uh. Hmm. I don't care about trees in my path. I have a loader on this thing. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Do we have, like, better lights? These lights do seem a little dark. Headlight, H, whoa. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Those lights were just the ambient driving lights. I see. Indeed, those that is quite the difference, actually. Oh, 
This thing is a massive fuel hog. So it's like they've got the the large trailer for logs, which is six points. But uh, it's like I could just do two medium instead, cause it's eight, <laughs> and the uh, medium's four, and significantly easier. Yeah. I feel like there's got to be like a twenty pointer or something that would make it worth it to do three trips of six instead of one trip of three. Six and a three for short, just is like. Eh. So, do you have a medium right now or a long? I have a medium. Okay, so we need another medium. There's a horn button, it's G. Yeah. I got a medium. This water is like literally up to my cabin. Yeah? Also, I don't know what sadistic person put this logging camp, like, next to a lake, but what were they thinking? <laughs> they, they really weren't. Alright. Log carrier, medium logs, four points. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, but then you could also get a log cart to hold an additional four points? I don't think so. I think the log cart is required for medium logs. Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. These are not roads. No, it's really not. I'm just sitting here like, do I want to drive through this lake or that lake? Out in the bayou. I've got a radical plan. Is it just driving right through the, uh, <laughs> the forest? It might involve driving through a forest, yes. I was definitely thinking that was how I was going to get out of the logging camp. It was just driving directly through the forest. Spintarsh is kind of a lonely game. Like, we're playing together and we've seen each other twice? <laughs> <laughs> it's about the experience. It is. This is definitely replicating the lonely Russian lumberjack experience. Exactly. Sometimes you gotta come winch your buddy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure on the, the more difficult maps we're going to have a lot of winching going on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this thing okay. has a uh -oh. thoroughly unimpressive horn. Uh oh, water damage. Oh yes. Too deep. Engine flooding. Well, I'd, okay. I'd recommend not doing that, but it sounds like you're committed now. Yeah. I mean, kinda, yeah. It's like, I'm sitting like in the cabin in a puddle of water at the moment. <laughs> it's like pooling around my feet. <laughs> it's coming through my open window. It's in my raccoon wounds. <laughs> Everywhere. Okay, so, there's, uh, there's some quirks for going through that lake, actually. Which I don't know if I'd recommend. 
I went through a river earlier, so... I think I'm okay on the whole water damage experience. It wasn't too bad. I have 484 damage to spare, actually. So what, you took 16? Yes. Basically nothing. Oh the yeah. Truck drives fine. All the way, so long as you know. Get that last little bit. Yeah, this is only a road in the like lexical sense of the term. Yes. It is a beaten path, and that is the best that you can say for it. It's like game trail for Soviet hunger. Okay, now I gotta attack its weak point for massive damage. Okay, log station, here we go. Okay, it's got a couple of logs here, and it's time to head south. I see you valiantly just driving directly in from there. <laughs> Hit a bit of a snag. Nothing a winch can't fix, right? Uh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm not so sure about that one. I think I, I winch, might... Winch, please. <laughs> this is a really uh, dense forest, actually. Yeah, it was, it was much denser than I had originally anticipated. And now uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm actually caught on. Not sure about driving through this forest. Yeah, I don't think this forest is gonna happen. Oh, but I see a little opening in the path over there. Alright, it's, it's fine, you just gotta... Finesse? Yeah. Or something. Yeah. The winch beats all obstacles. I hope. The winch is not beating all obstacles. So the problem is, I've wedged myself in so now my trailer can't actually go backwards. Mm. I'm starting to think this is, uh problematic. Fraught with peril. Yes. If I had a bigger truck, I could just uh, destroy these trees. Oh! Oh, uh, that was close. I'm actually backing up directly into a tree. Yeah, why do they even have, uh, loggers? I mean, I'm basically just a deforester here. Okay, that, uh, that stalled the engine. I just took out a very literal tree. Thrilling right, gameplay. Good. I don't need the winch for this. And a different camera angle. Gonna tear the tree down. The winch conquers all. Yes! The 
Winch really does just conquer all. Winch is good. If you master the Winch gameplay. Mm-hmm. I probably use 40 liters of fuel just <laughs> just unlocking myself there. Uh, we want... Position your truck properly. I would love to. <laughs> tell me about it. Can, can you tell me what's improper about this right now? Oh, there we go. Boom! Now are they strapped down or are we Yeah, okay. How's uh how's your job going? Uh I think probably you'd you'd recognize <laughs> the situation. Mm, I noticed a problem uh turning now that we have giant logs in a trailer that can't turn. Just driving over these stumps, it's fine. Okay, gotta make sure I choose the correct path. I chose poorly. We're doing it. Freedom. stupid logs just like over this field Have you broken free yet? Not quite. Hmm. So the question is, can I get in close enough to give you a hard point? I got plenty of hard points. Uh, a good hard point that can pull you in the reverse direction while you're pulling yourself. trees here. Yes. I don't think I hit you with that. Okay, actually, I got an idea. Oh, wait. No, wait. Just give me a sec. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think if I just go straight back, and instead of going forward and left, if I go forward and right... Hmm, yes. Maybe traversing the open field was not the right thing to do. 
But you know what? We're committed now. Is this a shrub? <laughs> what am I winching to here? Yeah, I think you can do, like, shrubs or buried rocks or something. This thing is so ponderous. <laughs> I love it. Just rock the boat. Just rock the boat. Baby. But don't tip the boat over. Yeah. Well, if, if you're still stuck in the lurch by the time I deliver these, I will bring a, uh, a bigger Bulldozer. truck. Yeah. Like an actual tractor-type truck. I think by this point I'm in a shape, just like a tree-shaped hole. Yeah. Like a a truck-shaped hole in the mud. It's entirely possible. You've been digging in for a while. And you've probably Austin powers yourself, just wedged yourself into the perfect yes. tree spot. If I just get enough K-turns, though. <laughs> It becomes a lot harder to do those with this particular trailer. Because you've just, like, doubled your length. Okay, so another advanced tactic I could try uh -huh. is dropping the trailer and then pulling the trailer to me with the winch. Can you drop the trailer while you still have logs? Um, let's find out. No, it's good. <laughs> kind of figured. But it is important to know. Yeah. All right, so if you went to the right of... If you go back to the, the log kiosk... I think I might just uh, go ahead and reset this card. Yeah, you're pretty stuck. But I think next time what you do is you uh, go further right than where you were trying to escape from. Yes, that was what I was thinking too. Was further right would have done it. Yep, for, further west, for those of you who care about cardinal directions. Uh -huh. I was also thinking further west would have been the option. Yes. All right. This field, by the way, is not easy going. I mean, it's not like difficult, it's just slow. The amount of times that I press confirm to form my route with the okay that is set up there that... <laughs> yeah. There was a way... I. I pretty sure there was a way to remove waypoints from it. I just don't remember what that was. I think you had to click on it, and that's really difficult to do. Yeah. Maybe backspace would delete the last checkpoint? I don't know. I will try that after I deliver these. Uh oh, uh-oh. Turn. Do not go up the side of this hill. I almost flipped myself. Mm. And there's nothing around to winch to, I don't think. So I was thinking about Fortnite. Indeed. And how I'm not good at getting kills in Fortnite. <laughs> Practice. Well, there's that, but also I'm much 
I'm, I'm a good scout. I'm good at keeping an eye out for enemies. And, you know, that's important. I'm just curious that's, that's if true. that's good enough. If a scout archetype can exist in Fortnite, or if you just need everybody to be killers. I mean, generally speaking, so it's like a... It's a jack-of-all-trades thing, right? Where yeah. It's like, if everybody's good at everything, then it works out better, but yeah. Like, I think that probably... Honestly, one of the strongest things, I think, is just building in that game. I think building is actually a huge advantage. I think so, yeah. I think it's a little more like the defining aspect of that one. Yeah. Okay, so this was a ravine uh, that I was thinking of cutting across, as it turns out. No. Oh. Which oh, yeah. I tried to do the same path. Uh, I think you can do it. Huge I, success? I went a little bit past. You can see a turn to the right a little bit further south from there. Uh, okay, so... Alright, I'm sliding in a controlled fall. Sure. Into the ravine. Yeah, I'm just watching you. I think you're fine. Yeah. The yeah, ravine itself uh, is a nice path. It's a, just a controlled fall. Uh, I see you nosedived. Yes, a little. The controlled aspect is a little less believable now. <laughs> but it's okay, it looks like there's something over here. I'm set up the winch, we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> yeah, that is the most important lesson you can teach anybody playing this game. The winch is the number one tool. Okay, so... Is this trailer a totally jackknife? Yeah, but I am winching. <laughs> this looks like such a problem, but I think it's actually okay. It's actually a solution. Uh, okay, unless there's nothing else to winch to, at which point it's a huge problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't have all-wheel drive on. I think I could have been out of here in no time. I remember about all-wheel drive. I just never turn it off. Or I, I always turn it off. <laughs> That's not my priority. I don't know if fuel costs us anything, but... Uh, I don't think it does, really. No, I think you just... As long as you can make it to a garage or fuel... Point. Yeah. Well, grass is only fuel up to half your max fuel. Oh, yeah, I thought there was the something fuel about points it. Are full. Lumber mill. Oh, they're playing music here. That that hardcore rock music. That good Soviet rock. What what is drive carefully achievement? Ah, whatever. Boom! Right, I'm just gonna get this thing out of the way. Whoa, ping 580s! What, what is happening? Hello? Kitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you have... You had huge ping for a bit. Yeah, I uh... don't Holy cow. 600 liters in this trailer? Yeah, alright. Okay, this was a huge mistake coming in here. There's just nothing to winch to in this place. Which is kind of baffling, actually. Yeah. Is there like an entire tree in my cabin or something? Is that what's going on here? I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, where's where's an actual fuel station? Okay, right next There's to that other right garage. Next to the north one. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna go over to that garage and then fuel up my trailer. Probably help you out a little bit. Hints? What what kind of hints are there? Don't go in the gorge. <laughs> Deliver logs. Thanks. Okay, actually, I think I'm out. Oh, this yeah. truck steers so weird. In reverse. Yeah, I made it. It's 
So how many in-game days is this taking us? It's been at least one. Yes. Although it may have only been one, because I only thought it was super dark once. For an extended duration. Look at how much effort this guy's putting into turning the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, there's an actual road over here that I've just been ignoring. Whoa. I... <laughs> Just crashed into one tree and took 600 damage. Hmm. Alright, I guess I will repair myself with my utility trailer. That was a tough tree. Okay, so, good news. I made it. Bad mm -hmm. news. There's a forest. Mm-hmm. I made my way through it. I yeah. don't recommend trying to do the same, but I did do it. I think I can take out this tree right here, and that'll make my life easier. Oh, almost crashed my truck into a tree again. Okay, one tree down. Then I gotta get up some speed to intimidate this other one. <laughs> Yeah, make it quake in its roots. Nah, no, no, not that one. Okay, we're gonna get just real close here. First person can. Ooh. That was close to tipping. We're just gonna winch just all the way through this place. I think that's the answer here, honestly. It's not a terrible strategy. Here's the real mud. And this is exactly why the game is called Spin Tires. And also Mud Runner. There's a tree that's just literally like in my truck at the moment. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, Mr. J, I just wish to be free now. <laughs> if I could get out and chop down this tree with an axe. There's a, there's a utility trailer in the middle of the path here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my god, just knocked a tree down. That opens up a lot of possibilities, actually. Ooh, boy, taking that turn way too fast. Which is impressive, considering the train we're driving in.
I made it. Nice. Now, that was uh, just getting in with an empty trailer, though, so now I gotta get back out with a full trailer. Yes. Yes, you do. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a bridge. Ooh. First person cam. Oh, I fell off the bridge. <laughs> uh-huh. It's so, uh how would you rate your experience? <laughs> it's fine. We're just gonna winter cells. And uh, we're gonna win. Okay, well, that was just a poor winch job on my part. That's all. We need to Checking clearly. Out, we need to straighten out first, and then we can. Uh... Okay, I am at war with this camera at the moment. That was not made for forests. Uh, I'm just gonna recover in garage. It doesn't matter. The open road. Okay, I made it. You're free? Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay, we're gonna have to do a loop. This, this trailer is not cooperating. Pretty funky out of here. It's fun. That's what you get headlights for. Yeah, put them on. Oh god, rocky terrain. Also, I've never seen rocky terrain that is so literally filled with rocks. 
Like the rocky terrain is really, really rocky. Oh yeah. It's got the eye of the tiger and everything. <laughs> Was this the wrong ditch to drop down into? It may have been. Yeah, I don't mind. Drops prematurely. There is uh, there's somebody else that struggled through this field before me, it would appear. Uh, yep, yep, that, that sounds familiar. It's right here, I can see the tracks. Why can this game get voxel destruction so right? Ah, <laughs> uh, space engineers! <laughs> Uh, how can I hold all this performance? It's a fair point. <laughs> Travel 2.3 kilometers. Painful meter by painful meter. <laughs> You can, you just pause for a little bit while your engine uh, gets its bearings. Okay, actually, that wasn't bad at all. I just conquered that thing. I thought it would be significantly worse. That got a little dark out. Yeah, it really did. Now it's dark and foggy. So this thing uses 15 liters per minute while I'm driving on this terrain. Oh god. Yeah. What was that about fuel efficiency? Yeah. It has to be guy. efficient. It just has to be enough. Yes. Soviet era conservation. Just bring more! Oh well, I am deeply entrenched in this field at this point. Yep, yep, just digging in. It's fine. Welcome home. Okay, how we doing? Oh my god, I checked the map. Why'd I do it? It's so far still. I've been driving so long. So I know, notice one problem with being out in an open field. Hmm. Not a lot of winch, winch points. No, there aren't. Hmm. This, uh, this might prove to be the end of this particular truck. Hmm. Wait, I got it. I'm going to winch myself onto myself. Perfect. Oh, uh, I can't winch onto my trailer? Oh, but you can probably detach your trailer and then winch it. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's probably a thing I can do. Or I can so, see how far down into the earth I can dig. One thing, yeah, you could jettison your trailer if it's not full of stuff. Uh, logs, namely. It's not full of logs. Okay, so you can jettison your trailer, then see if you can get out, and then winch your trailer back to you when you're stable somewhere. And then you can rehitch it. You can actually winch off of your trailer hitch, which makes it real easy to reactivate it. Rehitch it. I think this is 
pretty much as literal as <laughs> opposite of a racing game as you could do. Oh yeah. Totally. Okay. I need something to winch to, it feels like. Never mind. Nothing a good wheel wiggle can't deal with. Left, right, left, right, climb. Patented wheel shimmy. Oh, forest. Okay, it's just a little one. Should be able to scare it off. <laughs> Alright, well I am 100% locked in here. Oh, I guess it's dead. Oh god, I'm going downhill. I'm going so fast. We're talking 8, maybe 10 kilometers per hour. Oh yeah, parking brake. I should probably turn that off. Depends on your goals, really. True. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I hear, like, forest destruction that is pyro, but I don't see you. Oh, yeah, there you are. Oh. Coming around the bend? Yep. And she comes, yeah. Oh, is that you? Yeah. Oh. This is it? This is the oh drop off. There's a road. The frickin'. Jesus. A trodden yeah. path. Camera, no, please. Here it comes. I can hear the rock music from here. Oh, yeah. They really do it right at this lumber mill. <laughs> they know what's up. Here comes victory! It's actually not too far off from our scheduled stop time either. Yeah, not bad. Boom! Yeah, we did it! One hour, 16 minutes. We got a progression point. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, new maps are available. And vehicles. And vehicles, apparently. Huh. We did it! Nice. Alright, well I think that'll be everything for today. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's good for the stream. Alright. Good stream. I will talk to you later then. Yep, see ya. Alright everybody, we did it. We finished Dying Light, we played some spin tires, it was a lot of fun. And I get to go eat now and I am hungry. Doesn't help that I've had uh, taco soup in a slow cooker for the last four hours or so and uh... Oh it smells good. It smells really good. Okay. So. Hopefully you all liked what you saw. Um, if you want to see more of what I do, I stream every Saturday with Mr. Powro at about noon United States and Canada Pacific time. Uh, we just finished Dying Light, so I think the plan is we'll do a couple of one-off sessions like Spin Tires or, I don't know, Fortnite might come up. Something, something that doesn't take very long to play. Uh, just to... And, and isn't like a serial series as in it won't last multiple sessions of the same playthrough just so that we don't immediately jump into another game that will take forever like this one did I mean Dying Light didn't actually take all that long it was what over the summer basically I want to say six seven months something like that yeah Stay tuned next week, we'll play something. Uh, I also stream, theoretically, every Thursday at 5.30pm United States and Canada Pacific Time. Uh, so far I've been every other week since I restarted that. And I've been doing Sentinels of the Multiverse, uh, but that could easily be 
something else with Pyro. Uh, it depends on how we're all feeling at that time. Everything I do here is recorded as a video on demand here on Twitch, uh, and also exported to my YouTube channel. There's a link in the description down below, somewhere in, in this general vicinity. Unless you're watching on YouTube, in which case there's a link to my Twitch channel somewhere in the same vicinity, in which case you should uh, come watch us on Twitch, watch us play some games live, interact with us, have some fun, make some jokes, all that good stuff. Uh, guys, thanks for watching and liking and subscribing and commenting and chatting and following and anything else I may have missed in between. And I will see you all next time.